Welcome back to the channel. So I'm just up here in the summer house doing a little bit of uh, work, all kinds of little bits of work, and I've just been doing some work which involves routering and all the rest of it. So I like to save all my little jobs up to get the routers out and try and do them all at the same time. I always think it's a bit best if you're gonna get all the gear out. So the particular job I'm doing right now is I have some sliding doors in the house. And on each side of the sliding door, there are these little sliding handles and these need to be recessed into the face of the polished walnut doors. Now, um, you could use a hole cutter potentially, but you haven't got much margin for that. And then you could try and to you know, relieve the rest of it with a router freehand, but it's a bit dodgy as I say, they're pre-finished. So I'm just gonna knock a quick template up, which involves using a hole cutter, which is within the perimeter of the outside and this is for a template I'm making a template and then what I'm going to do then is using the router with a guide bush is I'm going to follow that round and route them out in situ so to start with I've got these two pieces of MDF which are going to form the jig that slides over to enable me to work from both sides without taking it off and turning it round um, I've got the section of timber which is going to go in between these two bits of MDF and that's obviously the thickness of the door plus a millimetre. Um, so the first job is I've set that out, I've screwed these two together, I've drawn a line around the centre. The piece of wood that's going to go on the edge of the door, these doors are the same but these ones are in oak, these are going to get painted, is relative to the panel size on the centre. So I just slide it over clamp it out of the way, pilot hole in the middle for the end pull, which I would love to talk to you about. And then I use my router with a vacuum boom on that side and then on that side. Now I do those in situ. So um, I'm just gonna do this now. I'm gonna do it on camera. Hopefully it'll work out all right. First of all, in fact, I need to do a pilot through both these bits here. Go from both sides. Then we'll swap out for the hole cutter. And we will cut through that as well. So these hole cutters are a bit unforgiving. You see that's rocking and rolling a bit there. It's moving around a little bit. They tend to snatch. So um, I can't, I don't think I've got any clamps up here. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take this bit of wood off here and I'm gonna use it straight into <coughs> Straight into this. Keyless chucks. Sometimes, if you just got them on the edges of that sort of hexagon, they tend to jump off. So I've gone through one side a little bit. I'm going to go through the other side now. You see the holes already come through. I know I'm in the, in the right position. So there we have our. basis of our template. So what we, what we want to do now is take that apart, screw that together and the first thing I'll do is I'll attach one half of it to my jig. Turn it around the right way. We'll put that on there. And then we'll test that with the router in a bit of stock. And what I've got here is some Iroko, really hard, similar to the walnut in terms of the grains, really tight. And we will fix that on here 
put a screw in it to hold it. This is just, I'll be clamping the um, device onto the door. Just I can't fix it to the door. In fact, I could fix it to the door. I've got somewhere I could fix it to, but for now we'll just put a screw in here. Where are the screws when you need them? There they are. So now we'll take the router and we'll see how good that is. good. So it's a nice snug fit. It's not going to fall out and I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to fix the other side of the template together. So when I put them together I drilled all the way through. As long as I follow my centre line, screw it back on, then they're going to be exactly in line. So we'll do that. Bang some screws in it. It's a beautiful day out. Absolutely boiling hot. Voila. So there's so there's the template now. Say it's not it's not you know not a difficult job, doesn't take very long. But I'll slide that over the edge of the door inside, line that up with that, that gives me the centre, clamp it on round about there, run the route around, vacuum it all off, both sides, and that simplifies that job no end. Oops, wobbled the door over there. These ones are just about to be sprayed, that's why they're swinging around in here with the spray paint those. Okay, so in the end of the door, we have something else, and it's this. It's like a little pull, and it's knurled. So the idea is, it's a friction fit. You drill the hole, and you basically tap it in. I don't think really they need to be glued, um, although you could glue them. Now, the reason why I say you could glue them is because it was highly frustrating when I got this, because in the box, there's nothing apart from the furniture, which is fine for a professional... You get that all the time, you have to work it out for yourself, so you can measure it. And when you measure that, it looks like 25mm, and you'd immediately think, oh, it's a 25mm bit. So, I've got a 25mm bit, let's get the 25mm bit out here, and this is a Festool, and if anyone's going to be 25mm exactly, it's going to be Festool. Um, so let me see what, what happens when I drill that hole. Here we go. Got my little device, popped it in, and it was nowhere near it. Now, I tried it in a bit of softwood, and I tried to drive it in with a mallet, and there's no way that it's going to go in there. So I figured to myself, 
it must be 26 millimeters. So on to Amazon and I sent off for a 26 millimeter bit and back came this one from Bosch. And I thought, great, that's it, we've got the bit now. It's a millimeter bigger, it's gonna be perfect. So here we go. Boom, drill that there. Superior hole, really nice bit. Got my little cap, and it was just, it was just a bit, a bit loose, if you know what I mean. It wasn't, it wasn't, it was going to pull out. Every time you slid the door out, it was going to pull out. So that one there, I'd need some glue with. So then I realised that one inch exactly is twenty-five point four millimeters. So I thought. Let's see if I can get a bit which is 25.4 millimeters. So back onto the big A, the big Amazon, and I found a bit which was exactly 25.4. And let's try that. So I've got my 26. This is like one of those shopping channels, isn't it? I've got my 26, I've got my 25, and now I've got my 25.4. One millimeter difference is too much. So. I think it will go for this, and so let's try this one. And that is a lovely bit actually, I think that's the best bit out of those three. So we had the Bosch, we had the Festool, and I believe this one is from Ax Axminster Tools, albeit it did come through um, the big A. But yeah, that is a really, really beautiful bit, I mean they're such, it's such a clean car. So, 25.4 was the exact measurement. It goes in with a mallet, but it, it, it does go in and it's definitely not coming out. So um, that's a really interesting thing. You could get away with the 26 quite easily, but the 25, forget it. And the 25.4, I think if you're using a softwood um, door, so if it's got a softwood edge there, definitely want the 25.4, because softwood's a lot more forgiving and you know, it will, it will make its way in there. So, that's an interesting point where one millimeter makes all the difference. You wouldn't even think it. So there's those three bits there. And all of these three bits I can use for other jobs. So if I'm doing the odd tubular latch, sometimes I'll put a 25 mil hole through, which is the same as the striking plate. I generally use um, Sauber for doing mortise locks and those bits are actually only 19 so they actually do you an oval shaped mortise which in a narrow door like this if you're putting a tubular latch in if you put a 25 mil hole in a 35 mil door you're only going to get roughly five mil either side so I reckon it weakens the door a little bit anyway I hope you found that useful I'm going to go down now I'm going to clamp that on the doors inside and I'm going to route those in once I've routed in from both sides I'll set, there's a, fi there's a pair of fixing holes, a pair of ferrules there. I'll use this in one side to drill through, put it in the other side, drill through, to allow the ferrules to go in, clamp them on, and the jobs are good. And so I've got eight of these to route out. It's gonna take me the rest of the afternoon by the time I've vacuumed up. Anyway, um, I hope you found that fairly interesting. It's just, um, I don't generally film these random things, but being that I'm on lockdown like everyone else, um, I just thought it would be quite fun. See you soon.